Alright, so today I'll be showing you guys how to create this super clean, colorful, chrome style text without Photoshop, but with a free website tool. Now this text is the same one used at the end of New Jean's super shy music video. Beginners with no designing experience are also welcome to follow this tutorial, as I'll be taking you through each step by step. Please consider dropping a like or even subscribing to the channel if you learned something new today. But let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. Okay, so before we actually start creating the text, the first thing we need to do is download the font that we need today. Go ahead and check the link below to download this font called Planet Cosmos and let's move on to the next step. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to need you to do is open the link in the description below to photop.com. This website is basically a free Photoshop clone, and from what I've seen, Photop can do everything Photoshop can. So once you open it up, let's go ahead and create a new project. Feel free to name the project anything you would like, and I'm going to use 1920 by 1080 for the dimensions. Go ahead and click create. Now that you have a brand new canvas in front of you, let's go ahead and create a new text. Hit T on your keyboard to select the text tool, and click anywhere on this white area. Now type anything that you would like. And then go ahead and click the check mark up here. Once you do that, I'm gonna need you to increase the size of the text and then hit V on your keyboard to select the move tool and move this text near the center. After this, we're gonna have to import the font into this website that we were talking about earlier. So we're gonna select the text tool once again and then double click this text to select all of it. And then we're gonna go up here on the top left corner of your screen and then let's click load font right here. Once you do that, I'm going to need you to select the .ttf file that you extracted from the downloaded font, and then click open. Once you loaded your font in, let's go back to the font tab and select the Planet Cosmos font. And then your text should be looking something like this. Go ahead and select your move tool once again by hitting V. And then while selecting your font right here, I want you to hit Ctrl A on your keyboard, and then find these two buttons. Align horizontally and align vertically. And then hit Ctrl D to deselect everything. This is gonna position your text to the center of the screen. The next step is quite important. We're gonna have to select this text layer and then right click it and convert it to a smart object. This is a very important step. If you go ahead and click this thumbnail beside your text layer, it's gonna open up a brand new composition with only your text in it. This is gonna allow us to edit the text in here and if we hit Ctrl S to save this composition and we go back to our main comp, it's gonna change the text in the main composition as well. By doing this, we can change the text here and change the styles in the main composition. So I want you to navigate back to your main composition right here. So let's actually start adding some layer styles to our text now. I want you to double click the text layer right here and then position the window to wherever you can see this clearly. So we're gonna have to apply six different layer styles today to make the text look good. The first thing we're going to add is the gradient overlay. Go ahead and click gradient overlay and copy down my settings. The first thing we're going to do is change the gradient angle to 0 degrees. And then we're going to go to our actual gradient by double clicking here. And once you open this up, I need you to add 4 new colors to this gradient. So go ahead and click it once right here. Once again, again, and last one. And then we're going to start changing our colors. So the first color is a nice yellow. I'll be pasting all of the color codes in the description as well, so feel free to check that out. But again, it is very important to change the colors yourself and see what kind of changes create what kind of impacts. The second color will be a nice green. Then the next one, I believe it is a blue. And then the next one will be a nice purple. And then the one after that is a nice pink, I believe. And then the final one is also another purple. Now for now, your text should be looking something similar to this. Now this is perfectly fine, but go ahead and play around with the positioning of each of these gradients to see what you like best. But I'm just going to set it to something similar to this. Perfect. Now go ahead and click OK once you're satisfied with your gradient. And we're done with the first layer style. The next thing we're going to add is a bevel and emboss. Once you click on it, I need you to copy down my settings again. For the style, inner bevel. Technique is chisel hard. Keep it on up and let's set the depth to around 810. Let's make the size to 4 and soften to 10. And then let's change the angles. We're going to set this top angle to 90 degrees and then the bottom one to 50 degrees. And change the contour to a nice arch right here. And then let's change these settings now. And then set the opacity of this white highlight to 56%. And then drop this entire shadow opacity to 0%. Now you're done with your bevel and emboss. The next thing we're going to add is a inner glow effect. Go ahead and click that for me. And then we're going to choose normal for our blend mode. And then 45% for opacity. 
Let's change the color to a nice white. And then we're gonna make the source the center. Let's change its size to 27. And then change the contour to this one right here. And then the range should be around 65%. Now your text should be looking something like this. Now the next layer style we're gonna add is a inner shadow. Once you click it, I want you to copy down these settings. Multiply. And then keep the color to black. We're gonna change the opacity to 13%. The angle on 90 degrees, distance to 0 pixels, spread to 77%, and then size to 8 pixels. And then go ahead and keep the contour and noise to these. The next thing we're going to add are two strokes. We're going to add one stroke right here by clicking here. And then we're going to change the size to around 5 pixels. We're going to change the color to a nice white. And as you can see, you can't see the stroke right now. So what you want to do is go ahead and click OK once for me. And then click this unlock button on the background. Click it and then hit Alt Backspace. And then you will fill this background with a black color. As long as your fill color right here is selected with black. Now if you want to see what kind of layer styles you have on your text, go ahead and click this EFF button. Now you can see all of the layer effects that you have on your text. Let's open up our layer styles once again. The next thing we're going to do is create another stroke. So go ahead and click the plus icon right here and then open up the second stroke right here. Let's set the size to around 8 pixels and change the stroke color to a nice baby blue. Make sure the color is pretty light, something like this. And the final layer style we're going to add here is a nice drop shadow. Let's set the blend mode to normal and set the opacity to around 22%. The distance should be at 0 pixels and the spread should be around 90%. The size will be 13 pixels and keep the contour and the noise levels to these. And there, you can go ahead and click OK, and we're almost done. What we wanna do next is go ahead and change this text to a smart layer once again. We're gonna right click this text layer and then do convert to smart object. Now the final thing we wanna do is add a faint pink stroke once again. We're gonna double click the text layer, we're gonna check on stroke, and then change the color to something like this. Now it's gonna look a bit ugly right now, but what we're gonna do is change the opacity to around 40% I'd say. And then keep the size at 8 pixels and go ahead and click OK. And there you go. That is your finished product right here. A super nice colorful chrome styled effect for you to use in any of your projects. Now to export this, all you wanna do is click File, Export As, and PNG or JPEG, anything that you would like. Now I hope you learned at least one new thing today and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Now if you came across any issues while following this tutorial, please feel free to join our Discord server where we have a lot of members who are willing to help you. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!